Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you student result management system. This is the prototype of the project and uh, I will start uh, to making student result management system. So uh, the student uh, result management system looking like this. Uh, this is the first page uh, to see the results by the students and the admin login. Admin can login by their email ID and the passwords. If credentials are not valid, then uh, a pop-up will appear uh, in valid details. If uh, your uh, admin details will uh, correct, then you will be uh, logging into your system. Uh, so this is the default admin dashboard uh, you have to got where you got registered users and subject listed and total class listed and the result declared. Okay. So uh, when we click on the student class, uh, so first of all, you have to create a student class uh, by their class name uh, in the characters uh, class name in the numeric orders and the sections also a b c some uh, something uh, after that you have to uh, add some classes uh, into the database then a pop-up will appear well done class create successfully looking like this now the second phase you have to see all the class entries you have to done it uh, uh, during the creations like the class name class name in numeric section uh, creation date also you have a action with the edit and the delete also you have to show number of entries in a single page uh, or I mean to say that uh, I will uh, show uh, paging on that page and you have to search uh, your particular class uh, which the create date uh, according to the search system now the second uh, phase after the entering uh, you have to edit your sections if uh, you are not correct entered uh, details you have to change your data so this is the updation form well done class update successfully now the uh, second phase is related to the subject so you can you have to enter subject name and the subject code so this is the well done screen to subject create successfully and this is the default uh, table layout of the subjects where you have subject name subject code creation date updation date and actions also subject updation will appear looking like this uh, like physics and physics uh, the code of the physics okay so subject and the class entries will done uh, successfully and pop up will appear uh, successfully okay <clears throat> now the third phase is related to the subject combinations so class uh, is a second uh, and the subject it's looking like this uh, in which you have to add uh, the class section and the subject entries add subject combinations you have to enter so subject uh, combinations have to add it so the combinations table looking like this uh, sixth, uh, sixth section B I mean to say is that class six section B Hindi uh, will appear and class sixth section A English will inactive I mean to say that English not uh, uh, teached by the teachers okay the first section C maths will active okay so looking like this tables will, uh, will appear in the uh, in subject with the uh, classes okay so if you want to deactivate these subjects so you have to pop up appeared and well done subject de deactivate successfully now the third uh, thing you have to uh, really want to activate the subjects also change the status of the activate and deactivates okay so uh, now the fourth entry of this um, is related to the students so fill the student info like full, uh, full name roll number email id date of birth gender and the class which is related to the students so the entry will appear looking like this student name role id class with the sections registration uh, registration date status active and the uh, action will appear on your form now uh, the updation student in four also appeared on that uh, looking like that form uh, class sixth section C status is active and block okay so uh, well uh, well done uh, student infos update successfully so 
there is the fifth uh, section and the sixth section is related to the class name student name and the subjects uh, which is related to the students and the class so uh, subjects will appear in that uh, manner so uh, student is related to the subjects and the role marks is related to the subjects so uh, you have to enter uh, uh, marks uh, depends on the subjects uh, which is related to the students so so looking like this section c uh, student name is abhi and english marks and the math marks is 83 and 45 is declared students so well done results info added to the abhi uh, students maths and english so this is the thing you have to done into your project so this is the prototype actually uh, how to create it and uh, in the latter video session this is the first video tutorial and in later video session i will cover all these entries one by one and minor changes appeared in your uh, prototypes so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and uh, uh, subscribe my channel if you want to learn many more about uh, asp.net and dotnet course thank you very much